Nope, it's not a secret. I've never had a boyfriend at 24. Are you still single? I am. Okay. I, am. I mean, what if I don't want to live the way you live? And don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this. Fun, exciting, exhausting, frustrating. Women. Tell me about it. Ow. All at the same time. Early 20s seems to be the age that everyone is obsessed with dating. Talking, cuffing, falling in love, breaking up, healing a broken heart, then doing it all over again. Some go through the cycle faster than others. Oh my god. Some are lucky or perhaps unlucky that they quickly find someone to settle with. I'm not scared of you. Some decide that no one meets their standards. Ow, get off of me. Oh, as if. Some do not know what they want. In this wild circus, there is a breed of every kind. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Indeed. And there is a rare breed like me. Someone who's never been in a relationship. Before I explain what that means, let me account for some of the reactions I get when I tell people that. What? Why? Are you sure? I don't believe you. Wow, that's intimidating. But that does not make sense. Oh, never? As in, never? Um, yeah, do you want me to spell it out for you? Just like how some people never broke their bones or dyed their hair before, I sometimes find it fascinating how it's so hard for people to believe that I've stayed single for all of my life. Why do people find it so hard to believe someone's staying single for longer than 20 years? Why is it considered abnormal to not be in a relationship like quote unquote almost everyone else at a certain age? And let me set the record straight. Yes, I've been dating, but to me, a situationship does not equate a relationship. Like many young adults, I used to think that you're either single or in a relationship. It is until I discovered situationships. Now I can have relationship problems even though I'm technically single. In a situationship, you can find someone who wants you. But you know, they're keeping their options open in case someone better comes along, so no labels, please. <laughs> hey Siri, what's a situationship? That means you're getting played, you stupid bitch. Oh, awesome. <laughs> situationship is the hottest new thing in modern dating, and I'm just jumping in on the trend. <laughs> if you start the situationship today, you can also get catching feelings. Someone who wants you but don't want the title to come with it. Not broken. And if you're lucky, hashtag dying alone. Situationships are free 99. And the best part, when it's over, you can't even be sad about it because technically you were never together, boo. <laughs> Escandalo. So what are you waiting for? Find someone who think you're not worth committing to and get yourself a situationship? <laughs> a tutor. Even if you're talking to someone, constantly seeing someone, and maybe even <sighs> being in love with someone, unless if it's been clearly communicated bilaterally by both parties, kind of like having an official contract, you are still single. I'm going to get way deeper into the topic of dating in the dating series, but do I sometimes feel pressure to be in a relationship? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. And here's a video journal of me thinking out loud about my experience of being single for 24 years, the reasons behind it, and why I both love and hate it. As cliche as it may seem, love or connection is something universally sought by the human species. I want love or death. 
As social animals, we wouldn't be able to survive from an evolutionary perspective if we wanted to be alone forever. And from the perspective of attachment, independence does not mean self-reliance or self-seclusion. This was so mind-blowing because I define independence on the wrong terms for basically all my life, and I will explain these terms further in the dating series. I will see you in. Okay. Love has been sun more than time, written as a driving force of almost all stories told, and remains the focal theme of modern digital media today. I've never seen you so happy. As great or as essential as the force of love may be, there still lies a huge factor in if a spark could blossom into a relationship. And that is compatibility. I'm running on basically no sleep, like literally two days in a row. I slept for like a total average of two, three hours each. Um, yeah, but I am bored. Ultimately, the simple answer to why I remain single is that no one has made it to the boyfriend stage yet. And sometimes I even wonder why do I want to be in a relationship? In the first place, especially if there are just unhealthy situationships. If my life is already so full of love, growth, and fulfillment. Zoe, yes. Even up to this year, I was dating for the intention of getting into a relationship. Each time when things don't work out, I get really discouraged and disappointed. I get so discouraged because I feel like I failed. I did something wrong. I dated the wrong person. If someone does not bring any additional value, then is there a need for me to have a boyfriend just because almost everyone else does? For a period of time last year, I thought I really wanted to be in a relationship because a lot of my friends were in a relationship. I actually did like someone quite a bit. Um, <laughs> and yes, objectively, some of the men I dated are wow. I narcissistic assholes. And yes, some of them did give me major heartaches. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to compatibility. Oh, that's so exciting! Can I take a look? Sure. Through going back and forth in the limbo world of dating, I began to realize that no matter how strong some initial attraction may be, without compatibility, meaning that I have the traits that someone else is looking for and they have the essential traits that I am searching for. Some of us would never be able to meet each other's needs and being together could mean more harm than good for one or both people. It was a reservation for two, so I thought to be for two by myself. For example, I'd rather be alone than be in a non-fulfilling, dull relationship. Because I already feel love and connected in other aspects in my life. And having a career that I am extremely passionate and proud of. I thought I was going to go to sleep, but now I'm just going to edit. And I'm honestly like very happy that I genuinely enjoy this and don't really see it as work. Okay, bye. As I am still figuring out what I truly need in a partner, I've yet to meet someone who meets all three of my essential traits. I have no idea. I am so ready to pass out. Feels like I slept for like an hour or two hours for the past two nights. And sure, there's always the option to settle, to give up exploring. Yeah, I'm actually in New York right now. But I chose myself. Every time in the past, instead of being in a relationship, I only feel 60, 70% about. I feel like my life is already like very full of wonderful things. I don't think I have time to be in a relationship right now. I do have an optimistic growth mindset, but I also don't want to be the only person making the relationship work when it's a two people job. At the end of the day, there is one simple question. Does having this person in my life make it better? And the answer up to date is no. Of course, withstanding the pressure to be in a relationship is also a tough task. Passer cette chance 
Alors avec le temps, c'est votre cœur qui va devenir aussi sec et cassant que mon squelette. From a social and biological point, women are expected to be engaged in romantic relationships starting the age that they hit puberty. Thankfully, we're no longer living in a world where women's sole purpose is to bear children and raise them, but the ingrained goal of reproduction within our genes propels the idea that young women should be dating and having boyfriends in preparation for the goal of becoming someone's wife and mother. I mean, what if I don't want to live the way you live? Oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants this. Everybody hey, what do you wants think of my outfit? Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Where are my manners? You guys need anything? Water, sandwiches. Gosh, you're so cute. He likes that, by the way. Culturally speaking, society becomes really unfriendly to single women. Girls are called, quote unquote, <laughs> If they don't have boyfriends or get married at a certain age in China, which to me is hella rude because maybe they were not passively left over, but they actively chose to reject all the non qualified men. Yes, women can make choices. What an idea. I'm not crazy. But it is interesting how a girl's attractiveness from a social perspective should not only depend on her physical appearance, but also her romantic history in terms of how quote unquote desirable she is to the male dating pool. Let's go over my hinge likes. How am I supposed to tell which one is you if you have the same four frat brothers in every photo? It's like a sea of Patagonia vests. Wow, your favorite show is The Office? Everyone's favorite show is The Office. If I continue to be this picky, I will be alone. Who is this bitch all over him in this photo? Oh, that's his mom. Hence, modern dating is often becoming a game of validation. Who can get the most guys? who can get the most dates. It's all just a waste of time. Because even though I could go through hundreds of likes on Hinge or Bumble, I know this is gonna be quick. If none of them interest me in the way I want to be interested, going out with people not meeting my standards is a message to myself that I am not worth what I desire. That I would settle for the bare minimum because that's the best I can do. And for me personally, I'd rather stay true to my own worth than get a momentary high from all the validations. Uh, this place is very touristy. If it's a game where by winning I cannot get what I want, I'd rather not play. I'm getting out of here. I need to eat. I didn't even take a photo. I just saw the crowd and I was like. <laughs> Hence, I take breaks here and there for dating. In New York City. I know, it's kind of like a huge time to go. And to be honest, sometimes these were the best times where I'm 100% wholly focused on myself as I make time to take myself on dates. Okay, hi. I'm so excited to eat. And then afterwards, I'm going to walk around and then do another dinner with Australia focus on my own interests and curiosities. I wish I had more time to like focus on content though. And like do crazy content. Yeah. Give my precious time to precious people who are worth the time. I feel so much better. You have no idea. I'm able to like focus on content and have so many new ideas. Yeah. My brain is not like muddled with all of the men. My brain capacity. I'm not going to lie. Being surrounded by couple friends and being the only single person would feel lonely at times where I do wish that I'd be able to have that type of healthy connection with someone someday. But when at the moment I can't identify a candidate to share that type of life with, I am also extremely content being a single cool girl in her 20s. I was vlogging, taking some b-roll. There was a display window and the employee inside saw me and was like waving to me, telling me to go inside. He was like, we got ring lights here. We should like come in here and create. As the grass is always slightly greener on the other side, even though my girlfriends in relationships love their boyfriends dearly, the shiny they also miss the complete freedom that I sometimes take for granted at the moment. This bridge took forever to walk to because as per usual, I get lost. It is my true belief that if you can't be happy single, you can't be happy in a relationship. A relationship is not the antidote to my problems. But I find my ways. And I am not waiting 
to be saved. It's all part of the spontaneity. So when I do get into a relationship, you bet it's not that I gave into the pressure to be in one for the sake of it, for validation, or to fix a problem. It will be that I finally found someone worth sharing my time with. Oh my god, guys! <laughs> someone who shares my values, who encourages me to grow and become a better version of me. At the same time, hoping that I'd have the same positive impact for that person as well. So no, as of now that I'm recording this journal, I do not have a boyfriend at the age of 24 and I am happily at peace.